Did you ever see a spider get rebuffed? Today I was filming a big and moody female Missouri burrowing wolf spider at her den. Supposedly, spider experts report these only in Canada and five central U.S. states that do not include Kansas and Missouri. But don't believe it. I've filmed a number of them in Pratt County, southern Kansas, and they're probably all over the Midwest. They are shy and live in hidden burrows, and they're not easy to find. Their lives span at least two years, making them old-timers for arachnids. The females dig vertical chambers up to ten inches deep, and they don't stray far from this protection, even when hunting. They line their burrows with silk, but they don't make webs. They catch and eat anything up to their own size, including insects, other spiders, even small mice and lizards like this baby horny toad. They mate in fall and then lay eggs in late spring. They keep their babies close to guard them for a time. Then the young disperse and go their own ways. Missouri wolf spiders seem especially reclusive. They sit at den entrances watching the world with eight eyes. Nearby movement causes instant retreat. And you can spend a fruitless hour hoping they return. But today, in October, with a big cool down and rain yesterday, they wanted warmth. They were quick to return and bask in sunshine. And lying flat with a camera at a burrow entrance, I got some close-up stuff. Males, more mobile and hoping to find mates, were on the move. And one showed up while I watched. He came gingerly, hoping to avoid getting eaten. The female was not impressed, and after a brief intrusion lasting only ten seconds, she kicked him out of her home. Oh well, at least he tried and survived, and I was wiser for this seldom seen encounter. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.